everything I used to dream being real right now, now, now. If it wasn't working, I'ma work it out, 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 yeah. How's it going today, guys? Trucks and Water here, and today I'm doing a full review on my leveling kit on the truck currently. Um, when this video gets posted, under a week till I get my wheels and tires, but I'm going to go over the kit and stuff like that and do some different driving scenarios. Right now, I'm about to hit on the interstate, do some interstate drive up to another exit, tell you how it feels, and some back road cruising and stuff like that to tell you my opinion on if you should or shouldn't do a leveling kit on a K1500. Side note, though, before we get this started, um, the guy who did mine is an expert on suspension and lift kits. He's been doing this kind of stuff for like 30, 40 years. The guy is an expert on it. He told me, he said, you could park 10 of my trucks exactly. I mean, exact specs, exact everything, and each one will be leveled differently than the other. That's the way these Chevys are. My keys are cranked up to the lowest possible setting and it's still an inch and three quarters. He said I could have cranked it up to almost three and a half inches if I wanted like more of a Cal uh, the Carolina lean. But they're the lowest they can go. He said other trucks, it can only go up to maybe two inches. It just depends on your truck. So before you level your truck, keep that in mind, guys, that not every truck's going to level out just like mine. It's just one of those things from Chevy that it just happens. So right now I'm about to head onto the interstate and we'll get this review started. Okay, we're about to merge onto the interstate right now. I'm on the on-ramp currently going onto the interstate. Right now I'm cruising, I'm merging on, power level's good, doesn't seem like it's out of um, the, lev the le leveling kit, doesn't seem like it's even more sluggish. And I know that depends on wheels and tires when you go with them, so I'll do another review of it when I get my wheels and tires on the truck um, right now we're cruising up to speed we're about 60 right now I am not accelerating hard I'm letting the truck just gradually go up to its cruising speed about 65 70 um, it is currently wet out so I'm not gonna go flat out 80 miles an hour like I'm road tripping somewhere or whatnot but this is just to kind of give you all a feel about that um, so right now we're about up to speed put the cruise control on about 68 69 miles per hour so we're gonna do a merge pass this truck up on rpms give it, give it some juice truck like gets you know gets up to speed normally like plenty of passing speed see it was locked in about 70. i have the pro comp 3000 series shocks on the on this truck it's a 15 valve adjustable shock where it senses, it doesn't, it doesn't have like electronics in to sense it, but it will, I guess the way that it works is that when the shock feels like it needs to stiffen up, it'll stiffen up, but it feels like it needs to be soft, it needs to be soft. Well, above 60, 65 when you're on the highway, the shocks, to me, feel like they stiffen up, but not harshly. You can still go over bumps and it's not gonna like jar your brains out or anything. But it feels more stiff, and the truck feels more planted on the interstate. Before, I mean, it felt planted, but it really feels planted on the interstate when you're just cruising. Um, not really any different road noises or anything. Um, it's very quiet in the cab. It's not like I had to scream at, at the phone, at the microphone or anything. But it does feel a lot more planted. Um, I do have a steering stabilizer on it. I got from Rough Country. I got the keys and the steering stabilizer from Rough Country and the Procom 3000 series shock I got from Realtruck.com. Um, links will be down in the description if you want to check out those products, guys. Um, yeah, but the truck feels more more planted, but I do feel like I'm up higher. Even though it's about an inch and a quarter raise in the front to about two inches somewhere around there, I do feel like I'm a lot higher up than before. Like, the nose feels a lot higher up. I don't feel like I'm slanted down looking at the ground really. I'm like up, kind of like a semi trailer like You're up and you're looking straight out, which I love. That's what I really like about it. But anyways, like, yeah, cruising on the interstate seems good. Um, so right now I'm going to cruise up to the exit and then we're going to get on the back road and see how the handling feels and stuff. Got off the interstate. I'm going to hit on the back road that goes over a dam. So it's got, I got a nice lot of twists, turns, uphills, downhills, stuff like that. Um, to give you all kind of numbers on how much my leveling kit was and all that stuff, um, the shocks plus the steering stabilizer plus the keys were right around $250-ish to get them installed. Um, 
from on the truck with the proper uh, fitment, cutting, and all that stuff, um, and front end alignment, it was about four hundred dollars. So in total, I got about six hundred fifty-ish dollars in the whole suspension system, and I could not be any happier um, with with what I did. I wish I did this earlier, guys. Even if you keep the stock wheels and tires on your truck, the whole feel of the truck it just seems to be a lot better than factory. I don't know what it is. I don't know if my original shocks, the shocks that were previously on were just that bad. I mean, the truck never rode horribly at all. It's always rode really well. But this, to me, just feels so much better of a truck. So right now, I'm going around this nice sharp bend, and the truck doesn't seem to be, like, slamming in the corner or, like, wanting... The body roll on this truck seems to be a lot more tame than it was before. There's not a lot of body roll that I can notice on these, um as I'm going around these corners. Like right now, I'm at about 45, 50 miles an hour going around these corners. And there's not, to me before, there was, there was some body roll. Like I won't lie, there was some body roll. But now, it seems like these shocks and the, the keys on it are really preventing it from doing a lot of body roll, which I love. Now, the steering stabilizer, even if you want to keep your, your uh, Chevy K1500 stock, I highly still recommend a steering stabilizer. Um, the steering on this truck is not bad at all. Um, it's not like the second gen Dodges by any the imagination, and I'm not harping on second gen Dodges. I have one. I know how bad these, the steering mechanisms in those trucks are. But I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. I just know how bad they are because I, I spent money on it to fix that problem. But anyways, the Chevys are still not terrible, but if you have a truck that will up in a little bit of mileage on it. Even if you keep up with maintenance, they're going to have a little bit of play in it. I mean, my steering wheel still has a little, little, little bit of play in it, but this steering stabilizer really, really helps to relieve that. When you make a turn, it does, it, it feels more precise is what, how I can put it. Like, if I'm, when I'm making this turn, like, boom, it's going into the turn, straighten the truck back out, and go in the other turn. Now, what I've also noticed, because I did a lot of interstate driving um, the day after I got my um, leveling kit on it, was, on, especially on the interstate, when I'm running 70, 75 miles an hour on cruise and I hit a bump, before I would really have to make sure the steering wheel didn't jump, the truck didn't jump in another lane or something when I hit a, a really big bump. Now it's like irrelevant. The truck stays planted and it stays true and straight. Um, the steering stabilizer really helps in that aspect. So like I said before, guys, if you want... Um, even on a stock K1500, I highly, highly recommend one. I mean, it's a night and day difference, especially on the steering stabilizer, um, how this truck feels. Um, it's just, it, it's a whole different, it feels like a whole different front end of the truck. The back end um, feels about the same. It's a lot more plush, but than that, it feels about the same. Now, when I read a review on doing one of these leveling kits on the K1500, Eight to nine times out of ten, the reviewer was always like, I love the way it looks, but rides horrible. Rides like a, a stiff board, or rides like a skateboard, or rides like a, uh, um, a, a covered wagon or something, or anything like that, or something that had leaf springs on the front. I've never had that issue, or so far, I've, I've, I've not noticed that. Um, to me, if it rides better, it rides more... At lower speeds, like right now, I'm under 60. It, it's plush. It's um, it doesn't jar you or anything like that. So I don't know if it's the shock choice they went with, or they went with the original shock on it. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the, about those reviews. But at the same time, it does feel a whole lot better. And I I I highly highly recommend getting a steering stabilizer and all that stuff for the truck and the um, shocks and stuff. I mean, I don't know with other shocks, because I wasn't going to go with Fox shocks, but for the money right now, I didn't want to spend that much money on shocks, so I went with the um, the Pro Comp, the mid-grade, but they, they work wonderful for right now. I mean, I don't have any complaints on them. So, um, we're going to keep driving on this back road, um, see, and we're going to get onto some more just regular country back roads and all these like kind of windy mountain twisty back roads so we'll we'll go from there cruising back in um just on some you know just your typical kind of country roads I think too twisty kind of fast country roads some spots about 50 55 miles an hour um the 
truck, you know, rise room, like I said before in the video. Um, like I said, guys, I highly recommend this kit if you want to level out your truck. Um, if you want my exact kit that I've got, link will be down in the description, all the parts. Um, but like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, make sure you know that every K5100, when you level, it's going to be a little bit different. You're not going to get the exact same results, probably. Maybe you will, but more than likely, you won't for um, the leveling kit. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comment them down below or send me a message on Instagram. I'll try to get them as soon as possible. Um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All of you, have a great day, and remember, never give up on your dreams.